Hey, it's Alex for Chillin' at Bottom, and you are watching ESP TV. Welcome to Tech Corner at ESP Guitars. My name is Todd Binder. I'm VP of Product Development, and I'm gonna show you today how to adjust the truss rod on your guitar. All right, we showed you how to adjust your truss rod in the first case where your neck has too much bow. We're gonna show you a second example now. In this case, this guitar neck has back bow, which means the neck is bowing backwards. It's going like this. So what happens is you may pick up your guitar one day to play a chord, and you'll notice that these strings right down by the uh, nut area just don't even ring. They're actually just buzzing really, really loud. So in this case, you can tell that the neck has reverse bowed like this, and we need to release some of the tension on the neck with the truss rod. So we'll do this by, again, taking off the truss rod cover here at the headstock, removing this truss rod cover, and then we'll take our four millimeter Allen wrench and we'll insert it here at the opening. And what we wanna do here is we want to release the tension. So we're gonna be turning counterclockwise. And as I do that, I will double check the neck by sighting down the neck and see if I need to go a little bit more or if I've gone far enough. The neck still looks like it's got a little bit of a back bow. So I'm gonna keep going just a little bit more. It's almost there. And when you do this, you, you know, with this kind of tool, you can only do a little bit at a time, which is good. You don't wanna do a whole lot at once. We've got it probably pretty close. Now I'm gonna check it by fretting off the low E string at the first fret, and I'll be holding it where it joins the body around the 17th or 19th fret area. And then I'll extend my index finger here over the center area of the neck. And now I can see that there's just a little bit of relief. There's a little bit of gap between the string and the frets. And you want just a slight amount of gap right there, especially if you play with low action. Uh, most guys that play with low action, they want to have the strings very easily playable up and down the neck. And um, to do that, you're gonna need to have this neck very straight with just a very slight amount of gap. And we'll check those strings that were buzzing earlier. Now they're not buzzing, they're ringing out fine. Just check a couple areas of the neck and make sure that all the frets are ringing out. Now that the neck is straightened out, it's gonna have very minimal buzz. If you hear anything acoustically, again, that won't be coming through your amp. And we've evened out the neck now. The strings have come up a little bit, and the neck is straightened out, and there is no more back bow in the neck. And that's how to adjust your truss rod if you have a back bow in your neck. After we're done, of course, we will put this truss rod cover back on and just tighten that down. And we are done with that. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on ESP's Tech Corner.